and welcome back to my channel and today's video is how to achieve the flick style blow dry i hope you all enjoy this video um i've only just recently started doing this to my hair because my extensions are all out because of lockdown so i've just been using this hairstyle for while i'm in lockdown if i want to look a bit pretty and feel nice and normal again i hope you all enjoy it remember to subscribe thumbs up keep on watching more content to come i hope you're all doing really well during lockdown so i have literally not just got out of the shower because you're probably thinking why she got a full face of makeup on i've got out of the shower i've literally left my hair in this towel i slept in a hair mask last night so my hair is going to be ultra soft but yeah i literally just love this hairstyle and it's just super easy and if you're quite bad with hair i'm not very very amazing at hair but if you're quite bad at hair then this should be super easy for you and really nice for when you're just chilling at home and if you look a little bit pretty okay first i'm gonna obviously hair dry my hair dryer um i tend to try and do this smooth okay i'm just gonna brush my hair and run some beauty works argan oil um i need some more of this i just run that through my hair oh my god if anyone has this hair oil does anyone else think it smells of like beer and like it actually like it's really strong scent like once it's settled in it's quite nice but whenever i put this on in front of someone they're always like that smells so weird it literally smells of like beer and smells of like weed dry um if you just want to leave your hair like this i then run more oil through it and that definitely definitely smooths it out but i'm gonna put some on anyway because it's actually it acts as a heat protector for your hair i don't know if you have seen my hair naturally but oh my god this is not what it usually looks like i can guarantee you that i also really want to apologize in advance the eyelash situation we're all going through a tough time in lockdown i literally have i'm like hanging on to the last few and they just go in here then everywhere i'm letting them do their own thing i ain't gonna pull them out um but i have ordered some fake eyelashes so don't you worry i'm not gonna look awful on camera okay now i'm gonna show you how to use straighteners and a big fat wand my wand has like a clamp on it i'll show you in a second um, I just thought I'd show you both methods because both methods work and if you haven't got one of the or the other then you can just use the other one but yeah I tend to use both um, I've used straighteners and I've used the curlers uh, what do I prefer I'm not really sure I don't feel like I've done it enough to sort of no I feel like the straightener method is easier and I feel like more people will have straighteners so that's why I wanted to show straighteners as well but I do also quite like doing it with the wand because i don't know i don't know a reason why i also quite like using straighteners is because at the same time if you do still want smoothness you can sort of straighten it first and then do the flick whereas with the curlers it's a little bit harder to do that i mean you can sort of do it with the clamp that's what i mean by a clamp mine is a wand but it's also got the clamp okay so for the curler i use the babyliss wand i'll put a little link in the description box below and then for straighteners, I use the Golden Curl Gold Edition straighteners. These are so nice. I love them. You can set the temperature. These are more a lot more expensive than these. I got these abroad. Either one will do. I'm sure any straighteners or any curlers will work. So I'm going to set the temperature to around 190, 180 sort of temperature. I'm going to do the majority of my hair with straighteners. Um, just so I can smooth it out a little bit. But I will also show you how to use the curlers as well. I don't always like twiddling this after I've just blow dried it. Because it completely defeats the object. So I just sort of try and wrap it around a little bit. And then I clip it. And then I bring these forward. And then the towel that of the back i just make sure i tuck it around my head somewhere so i think the key to this is to do it in bigger sections i spoke to lauren she's the hairdresser she says that she thinks the key is to do it in bigger sections so i will literally do this much probably in one section um if i don't like how it's gone or i want more flickiness then i will just separate it my hair is different lengths i have got layers so obviously i do have to do some bits on their own because they are shorter and they're a smaller smaller layer 
Um, but yeah, the majority I do in big chunks, which means it takes quicker as well. It's a quick method of hair. But these are heated up. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hair in it. And as you bring it down, you're going to slightly tilt it. Not a lot, otherwise you'll get sort of a crimp and a curl. Ever so slightly, you're going to bring the straightener in towards you. I have a feather flicks going towards your face. Or if you want to do it the other way, you can do it in the other direction. But I literally just go like this, maybe straighten it a little bit. And then bring it down and then as i get to the bo bottom i ever so slightly twist it to the slightest and smallest angle let it go obviously practice makes perfect but yeah that is literally the first bit and as you can see it has worked in a big section so i'm now going to move on to the next bit just push this to the other side doing the same i'm going to straighten it a few times and then I'm going to ever so slightly bring it to an angle. Honestly, I could mess this up because I haven't done it enough to master it. So there'll be... Oh, that actually went quite well. But as you can see, this bit here is a lot shorter. So I'm going to do that little bit on its own. So it just so it has a bit more of a flick. And obviously, as you can imagine, the more hair you do and if you have layers, it just looks really nice. I think this style is particularly nice for layers because it just looks so nice with different lengths of hair. But yeah, I'm just going to now leave them and move on to the next one. Um, I do feel like by the time I get to the top, sometimes the bot the ones at the bottom drop a little bit. So I just go over them. And I also want to say that I do actually prefer this hairstyle the day after. So it will look nice today, but I'll prefer it in the morning. It still stays flicky and it's just my hair goes a lot smoother the day after when it's freshly washed and it just looks nice so i always prefer the, my hair the day after i've washed it um but yeah either way it still looks nice i'm gonna do a little bit of a bigger section actually about this big i'm gonna put the straightener straighten it a few times and then get to the bottom and then slightly turn it an angle and the nearer i get to the bottom the more i turn it because i obviously want the bottom to be the most flickiest bit but i saw it want it to go gradually so i'm going to now move that to the back and as you can see my hair has already got a slight flick to the end because of the way i blow dried it and i do feel like that does help it just means it might stay in a bit longer because your hair is dried in that way so as you can see that is all flicky it does look so much better the more you do um but yeah compared to the other side it just looks so much nicer than dead, dead straight hair, I think. I'm going to do the other side, but with the other side, I'm going to use the curler. Okay, so for this one, you put it in your hand. So I'm right hand, so it's in my right hand. I'm going to do it the facing away from me, the black, the top of the curler facing away from me. I'm going to put it in like straighteners and simply go like this. And as I get towards the ends, I'm just going to curl it round ever so slightly. And I'm going to just sort of hold my hair there. As you can see, this is more dangerous and you're more likely to burn your finger because it is so close to the curler. So gloves are probably advisable. And I'm just going to leave it there and I just turn it ever so slightly as I'm pulling it down. And then you pull it out and as you can see, it's literally done exactly the same. But yeah, look, there we are. That is just with the curler and I'm going to move that to the back of my hair. I'm going to do this whole section together just to show you that you can do a very big section. Do exactly the same. But as you can see, it's already a little bit flicky. And then I'm just going to curl it round and twist it ever so slightly so the ends are at the very bottom. And just turn it ever so slightly. Hold it there for a few seconds. And then pull it through. And then another flick. So the bit that gets complicated is when you're doing the opposite side with the curlers. So the side that you're not like... So I'm going to do my left side of my head and I'm obviously right handed. Um, I'll do that on the next bit. But yeah, look, as you can see, it's just creating the flickiness. Honestly, it looks so much better once it's all down. But as you can see, there's little bits. There's a bit here that I'm not happy with. So I'm going to just go over it again. In fact, I'm going to show you how to use the curlers with this side. So this is the opposite side that I just done. So I'm right handed. The difficult bit with this is you have to make sure that it's facing towards you. I haven't found an easier method for this. So I put the curler facing towards me and I just bring it round. And again, as I get to the bottom, I curl it round, holding the curler at the end. And then I just leave it on for a few seconds. And then let go. 
and there you go i think it's just practice like i'm sort of practicing myself i'm probably as a beginner as you are but yeah it literally just comes down to practicing and just trial and error really i actually cut my own hair whilst in quarantine so if you see a really long and a short bit i apologize in advance i was bored my hair was dead so i thought i'm gonna cut it so about the top now so obviously this is a bit where you want it to be the smoothest so i will go over and straighten the root a few times and then i'm just gonna Ever so slightly twist the straightener away from me and there you are it's actually so quick like it's not it doesn't take long at all you sort of get the blow dry effect but it literally takes so much quicker if, you, if you've straightened your hair and you're going out and you want it to look a bit more alive this is quite a good thing to do you can just quickly go over the ends So as you can see the bottoms like I said have dropped slightly so I'll just go over them once it's all down um, just to make sure that I like how it looks and just to flick them a little bit more. Maybe give them a little bit of a hairspray if your hair tends to not stay in as well. Okay so this is the finishing sort of look. Um, I sort of just play around with it. I mean I'm not very happy with this bit here. I'll probably just go over that but as you can see it literally is just a really flicky look. Um, it just looks like you've had your hair blow dried and it doesn't take long at all. That I really love this and I just think it looks so nice and so textured. If you're feeling a little bit down in quarantine then I do advise this hairstyle to do because it just makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. But yeah I just literally play around with it and make sure I love all the front of it and yeah I feel like the front is the most important though so pay attention to that. Anyway I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, thumbs up and keep on watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. More tutorials to come. I hope you all stay really safe and keep well. See you all really soon. Bye!